It's also the unofficial start to decorate for Halloween. I'm very excited <laughs> about that. I'll be staying in of doors to Is get it? that going. So it's already time to get that sure. cracking. Huh? I mean, I'm just giving you permission. If whoever, I don't know who needs to hear that. The pumpkin spice is already out there. Yeah, so you that's might a, as well. that, that is a clue. That's right. Yeah. Put some pumpkin spice coffee creamer in your coffee cup and let's go. Now, now it is Labor Day weekend, but you know what else it is? What? what? It, it's the start of college football oh, season sure here in Alabama, yeah, too. That's so. the holiday. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's what people are really looking forward to. And I've got that Alabama and Auburn game day forecast coming up. But we're starting out this morning with a view from Gadsden. Another dry morning and not too uncomfortable out there with temperatures again in the 60s. Just a few small clouds showing up on satellite. We are dry to start the day. Temperatures for most of us in the 60s, but Gadsden, one of the spots this morning that's dipped down below the 60 degree mark. So some cooler pockets out there, but uh, pretty comfortable weather early this morning. If you're looking to get out and get a morning walk or jog in, it's not going to be comfortable for that this afternoon, though, with temperatures up into the upper 90s for a lot of us. Very hot weather on the way today. Lots of sunshine, no rain in the forecast, but it will be very toasty. The air still relatively dry today. No noticeable heat index, but we do see moisture starting to return for the rest of this week, and this is going to help fuel rain chances for the rest of the week. An isolated shower possible Wednesday. Better rain chances for the rest of the week, especially Friday and Labor Day weekend. Uh, and we'll have some activity on the radar pretty much every day. Doesn't mean you'll see rain every day, but you've got the chance to. So no rain today or tonight. We we'll bring in that chance for an isolated shower tomorrow. A little better chance for some scattered showers and storms Thursday, Friday, and through this weekend too. And we'll keep that rain chance around for Labor Day too. All told, we'll average out rainfall across the state mainly between a half inch and three quarters of an inch. I think a better chance to see an inch of rain back towards the Gulf Coast and maybe some spotty, uh, some spotty one inch totals in central Alabama too, but certainly not everybody getting to that amount of rain. Now, it's not just rain chances. It's going to be uncomfortable with that humidity increasing too. the heat index becoming a big factor for the rest of this week. That number climbing as high as 105. Now let's look ahead to Saturday. Alabama kicking off the DeBoer area against Western Kentucky. Can't rule out an isolated shower or storm. It'll be hot for tailgaters there early in the day, too. It'll also be hot for tailgaters for Auburn as they kick off their season in state game against Alabama A&M. That game at 630. Again, warm, and I can't rule out an isolated downpour for either the Alabama or Auburn game, and we'll keep that chance of rain in the forecast into Labor Day, too. Kristen. All right, got some heavy